Hi, I'm Steve Koff, Washington Bureau Chief of Cleveland.com. Normally, you'll find me writing and talking about public affairs and public policy. However, I'm going to talk about bagels today because they are a pet peeve of mine, specifically the way to cream cheese up a bagel. Now, I grew up eating bagels. I eat a half a bagel every day for breakfast. Bagel has been appropriated. I don't think it's right that they put ham on a bagel, but I've lost that fight already. I'm not going to argue about it. However, I am not going to stop fighting about the right way to cream cheese up a bagel. And by cream cheese, I mean a verb, as in to cream cheese. Let's start with the basic premise, the amount of cream cheese. A bagel needs a certain amount of cream cheese. You're looking at a bagel that I purchased at a coffee shop, well-known coffee shop, national chain, I won't name it. They gave me a little tub of cream cheese and this is how much it supplied for one half of that bagel. Look at this, there are bare surfaces. There are places without any cream cheese. There's barely enough cream cheese. That's not the way to do a bagel. This isn't the way to do a bagel either. I bought this from a chain of bagel stores across the country. I asked for a plain bagel with cream cheese. It looks like plenty of cream cheese, but let's take off that top layer and see what we have. Ah, there's a plentiful layer of cream cheese on this part, but not on this part. So can I spread it? Let's see. And the answer is, yes, I could spread it, but again, look how thinly it spreads once I have it on both halves. That's not right. First of all, a bagel is supposed to be opened and eaten this way. A bagel is not a sandwich. It was never intended to be a sandwich, if you ask me. So I split my bagels, and I want cream cheese on both sides. I do not want bare spots. Bad, bad bagel. You know what they say, if you want to do things right, do it yourself. So... This is how I cream cheese up a bagel. Split it in half. I generally toast it. I won't toast this here. I have a tub of cream cheese. Notice this is a large tub of cream cheese. This probably says something about me. So what? Hey, it's one third uh, less fat. So probably a lot more sugar. Oh well. I take a lot of cream cheese, more than that. Let's keep going. Okay, and here's half. I put it on, I press it down firmly, very firmly. It's got to get in the nooks and crannies. It's got to get all over that bagel. Then I build it up on top. Okay, you're looking at a base layer. This is not a finished bagel. This looks like a bagel store bagel that was not done properly, like a coffee shop bagel. The key here, again, is to take that knife and press it into the nooks and crannies. You want every surface covered. Makes it much better. Then, let's add more. Now we're talking, here's a finished bagel. Look at that, it has the base layer, then it's got extra, it's got every single surface covered. It's fluffy, yet it's very, very full. It looks like a piece of cake with fluffy icing on top. Like a piece of cake, you don't like all that icing? Fine, scrape it off. But if you don't have it on there to start, here's what you get, a bad bagel. Nice advantage of this, you don't need to eat a whole bagel. Eat half of it with this cream cheese. That, America, is how to do it.